guys pardon my appearance, but uh, I just woke up. It's just after six and we're starting to pass through Northern California. So the scenery has changed drastically since we went to sleep. Um, but I'll show you some of the highlights as we ride past. I already got my free coffee that's included with the roomette and I'm just enjoying the view. this roomette is that there is a uh, closet not too much room in there but there are some towels up there if you want to use the shared showers that the roomettes have access to as well as a uh, I don't think you can see it but there my jackets hanging up in there and then my shoes are down at the bottom so there's a little bit of storage space in here also we have some stuff kind of piled on top of this but these are the stairs that you use to get up to that upper bed that I showed you earlier. This seat, the opposite seat, also has some controls. It does have this um, light that you can turn on, reading light. Uh, this hold to call button is what you push if you need to either order a meal or need help with something else. There are also various different lights you can turn on. Either the ceiling lights that are on now, or you can have uh, like it's almost like a black light on at nighttime for just a little bit of light in case you need to get up and use the restroom or something. And these seats are very comfortable and they also recline. There's a little bar down here. show you before I start digging in but I got the hamburger this time uh, with chips pretty good Trip. I actually just ordered the steak, but he gave me the land and sea, which I'm not going to complain about because uh, it was really good yesterday. But I got mashed potatoes this time. And also, I'm going to try the vanilla pudding for dessert. So, we just finished dinner, and actually, there was an announcement over the PA that a tour guide from a, I believe it's some sort of nonprofit group in the Seattle area is actually on board and is going to give some information about some of the things we see on our way to Seattle. So I'm looking forward to uh, listening to hear what he has to point out to us. I know there hasn't been too many updates from the train today. We're on hour like 28 or something, almost to Seattle. A couple of things. I will say that I think this is probably about the longest I could go on a train. Like, I'm ready to get off and get to Seattle. But at the same time, I've loved the journey. And I'm already thinking about looking at other Amtrak routes because we really did enjoy this. It was a great experience, wonderful customer service. I actually didn't know when we bought these roommates that there would be a sleeper car attendant and he was just simply wonderful. And another thing I kind of wanted to point out is I had a lot of trouble sleeping last night, which kind of explains what's going on here. Um, <laughs> but I'm not like claustrophobic, but that bunk bed up there, I could not sleep in. I tried going up there and it was even worse than sleeping down here. Like 
the train, being on this train in the daytime doesn't bug me, but I guess the nighttime aspect really freaked me out, so there was a lot of tossing and turning. I will definitely probably drink less coffee leading into <clears throat> my next night train trip, because I think that played into it. I drink a lot of, of the free coffee that they give you here. So I think I would drink less caffeine and be more tired as it got dark on the train. Uh, other than that, I think that's that was my least favorite part was the was the nighttime part of this journey. Some of you might be feeling a little bit uh, nutty after sitting on the train a day or two. This is the town for you uh, because Longview sponsors Squirrel Fest every August. More train walking. I've almost fallen down like 15 times, <laughs> but at the same time, it's a lot of fun. Two least favorite parts are walking through the dining car because there's like nothing to hold on to and going through these like door things because I'm paranoid they're going to close on me but they haven't. <laughs> Trails and Rails was the organization that that guy was from who was pointing stuff out to us in the uh, lounge car so that was really really cool. I kind of wish someone like him was on each leg of the journey that would have been really really neat but I appreciate him being here for this leg of the journey and he did say that today which it's today May 18th is the 39th anniversary of the eruption of Mount St. Helens so it's a little eerie being here on that anniversary Final station stop, Seattle King Street Station. Next stop. All right, so this is it from the roomette. It's uh, kind of funny because I said earlier I was ready to get off the train, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad to be leaving the roomette because it was just so cozy, such a great view right from your seat. Definitely a great trip. Here's a quick look at this gorgeous station in Seattle. Pretty cool view of the Seattle skyline from the train station. We're waiting for our lift to take us to the hotel. We're staying at a place called the Belltown Inn. When you walk in the room, there's a little, nice little kitchen area, a little coffee area. To your right is the bathroom. Also has like a timed heat lamp that you can set different times for and turn it on or off. It's got a little closet area, extra pillow, hangers. There's a safe here and a trash bin as well as a recycle recycling bin. We've already plopped all our stuff down, but there's a nice chair here as well as a desk space. Pretty good size TV. Some drawers for all your stuff and then We've already closed the window because there isn't too much of a view and you're kind of like looking at other people's rooms so we've closed that off but there is apparently stuff on that rooftop area. It sounds like a rooftop bar maybe and a little lounge area to hang out. So that is our room. We're debating whether or not we want to get something to eat or walk around so we're figuring out what we're going to do right now. <laughs> We went to a pizza place across the, literally across from the hotel called Rocco's. This pizza definitely sounded different. It's got mushrooms, jalapenos, red pepper, feta. I'm probably gonna pick the jalapenos off. Oh yeah, it's got like lamb meat on it as well. So yeah, it's got a lot of everything on it. Couple bites taken and this pizza is excellent. I was planning on picking off the jalapenos because I thought it would be too hot, but it's really just adding just the right amount of spice to it. So I'm gonna keep them on. And the crust is just, oh, it's so good. It really is still so crunchy and holds all the ingredients well. So 
excellent pizza. Definitely would do Rocco's again. All right, thank you guys so much for watching the conclusion to our West Coast train journey. I think the most important note to take away from that is that, yeah, we could have gotten to Seattle a lot quicker by flying, but it's kind of about the journey. It's about seeing the small towns and the big towns that you pass through the people waving at the train as you go by. It just kind of gives you a good feeling and it's what makes traveling fun, I think. I really enjoyed that, exceeded expectations. Definitely want to do another one. But tomorrow we have the big cruise. The reason we're here in Seattle is we are setting off on an Alaskan cruise tomorrow. So definitely keep following along. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed this and make sure to follow us for more around Alaska?